Hello everyone. Today we have another comparison of two folding knives. This time it's the Viper Odino and the Burka Vox F3, the second generation. As you can see they are both relatively similar. This is one of the reasons why I compare these two. And the other reason is that they are both uh, designed by Jesper Voxness, which is my a favorite knife designer. Um, a year ago, or over a year ago, when the original Viper Odino t came out, uh, it was around the same time when the first generation of the F3 uh, came to the market, and I had to decide between the two models. Eventually, uh, I was sure that I would get both of them, but the question was uh, which one would I get first? And I chose the Odino for two reasons. One of them, that it came in this great combination of carbon fiber and titanium, while the original F3 came only in one version, which was uh, titanium on both sides. While the Odino, you could also, also choose uh, between carbon fiber, G10 and titanium. And as you can see, carbon fiber titanium mix is my favorite. So this was one of the reasons, and the other reason is that um, the original F3 was a bit too thick, and um, I mean the spine of the blade was with too th uh, thick with five millimeters, which is way too overbuilt for me. So I chose this, and I wish that uh, the F3 came out in a smaller package, with a thinner blade, and in carbon fiber scales, and a few months ago. The F3 was uh, second generation F3 was announced, and I immediately pre-ordered it uh, directly at Burka in Solingen. And this was my first disappointment with this knife because I pre-ordered it almost two months be before release date, and in the end it came. Uh, ten days, days after release, I asked Burka what's happening with my knife, and they admitted that I have, had forgotten my order, even though I ordered and paid for it in advance. Yeah, so that's that, and uh, and that's also why I only where is it? I only have serial number. I don't know if you can see it. Twenty-eight. It's still a, no, a low serial number, but for example, in my field butcher from Burka, it's serial number 006. So, yeah, anyway. But, okay, let's open this one too so I can compare them directly. Yeah, that's how they look like. This is a bit beefier than this one. Well, when you compare these two knives on paper without ever having handled them, uh, in real life, I would actually choose this one, the Burka. Why? It's a bit lighter, smaller, and it has S35VN steel blade instead of N690 of the Viper. Yeah, so that's great. Why not? And it's actually cheaper with around 150 to 160 euros, depending on where you buy it compared to almost 200 euros of the Viper Odino. Yeah, so the question is, is it also worth it in real life? Or is, is it better in real life as it appears to be on paper? Well, short story, no. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. It mainly boils down to the fit and finish and the production quality. Uh, yeah, this was also a bit of surprise when I ordered this um, uh, the the Burka, because with around 150 euros, it seemed a bit cheap, relatively cheap compared to this one. So, hmm, why is that? And then I realized that it uh, it's from the Burka Plus series, as you can see here, as it's stamped on the knife. So that means it's not produced in Solingen in Germany, but in China. And it shows. I will show you. And now I must say it's already worked in as much as I can do. 
but initially I absolutely could not open it with one hand. And even now after working it in for quite a while, quite often it's still hard and a bit clumsy. Yeah, and it makes this hollow sound that's compared to the to the Odino, which is really smooth operator and the sound solid. So it's locking sound, and well, again let's compare it to the, again this hollow plasticky sound of the worker. As I said I couldn't open it initially with one hand and I think one of the main reasons is it's basically also the uh, one of the reasons is the uh, production quality it's a bit too stiff in all all parts and also a bit of the design when you look at the hole which is kind of similar to a Spyderco hole but the scale is too close to the hole and too too deep so you have to put the thumb really deeply almost vertically into the hole and then it's really hard to open it while on the Dino it's very easy very smooth and overall the fit and finish on the Odino is much much better. Yeah, they both have these blue anodized uh, standoffs, but uh, the F3 has also anodized pocket clip, but as you can see the pocket clip is not as deep as on the Odino. And more importantly, the Odino has a really nice pocket clip, which really is a useful and functional. While on the F3, that's the pocket clip is just cosmetic. You cannot; it's way too stiff. It's you cannot. Oh, it's you almost break your finger to open it, and you cannot. I tried to loosen the, the the screws, but it's not much help. So yeah. So overall, I would say even though this is more expensive. It's much better knife than this one. Okay, thanks for watching.